a mistake today. I am changing the fuel filter on here and I failed to bleed the air out of the lines using those two little screws there. And um, I think what happened is when I had the fuel filter off, some of the fuel came back down this line and therefore I have air in the injector lines. So it won't start. I managed to back out of the garage. Thought I was running good and then it stopped. So this is the first thing we'll do. You start with these right here. any injector lines on here before but I think what's going to happen is is right here one at a time loosen them crank it over wait till you get a little bit of fuel seeping out of there and then try to start it again We've got a 17 millimeter wrench, and I'm going to switch hands here. Okay. Alright, we'll start with this one here in the back. Loosen that up a little bit. Alright, all right, so all three injector lines have been cracked and bled. I'm hoping this one definitely bled a lot. These ones bled a little bit. I may need to crank them. Crank them again and crank it a little more. But anyway, try this again. Let's see what she'll start. start a rest for a couple seconds here I don't know I think we were definitely closer there but maybe not quite close enough I have a feeling I should have bled the others a little bit more um, while we're at it here let's where did I put that little screwdriver it's not fit bleed these a little more just in case while the starter cools down Good. Alright, now let's crack these injector lines one more time. Where's that 17 millimeter here? Not here, apparently. There it is. Alright. Let's loosen this one up again. Again. I think this time I'm going to crank it with the compression release so I'm not putting any work on the starter really. And one more time for my special friend down in here. This one is a pain to get to. Alright, so now all three of our injector lines are loose. The starter should be ready. This time I set the camera down because I'm going to pull the compression release and crank it at the same time. Close the throttle, pull the release here, and let's go. Alright, so we've got fuel leaking out of there, fuel leaking out of there, and fuel leaking out of there. So, tighten these back up again and give it a shot. Alright, well here goes my last try before 
I uh, go look for some more help online. And definitely fuel has come out of all three of the injector lines here. All the air instead of these lines up here. All the connections are good and tight. We appear to be getting fuel from the fuel filter. That little bowl is all filled up. So, and here we go. Trying. There we go. Now that's what I like to hear. Alright, wasn't too bad.